What is your favorite race or country to start up? What is your favorite race? Well, I, I, I think I think starting as Homo sapiens sapiens is generally a very good idea. Although Homo Augustus is sadly not in our game, I do think that that it should as well as Homo Natalianus, and that's probably completely the, that's the completely wrong way of pronouncing that Neanderthalensis. That's the one. <sighs> or the Florences, which are the Hobbit people. Anyway, um, may I ask why Bohemia color, color is golden brown? It's more of a mustard, really. Um, we won Mountain Blade Bannerlord. We put a press release about that up a while ago. Uh, be sure to uh, Google, uh, Google that for the details. Old vasalization system was nowhere near realistic. It was too easy and powerful, and now it actually costs something, but it's still too easy. Agreed. Um, <laughs> try please to try to please talk the guys about lowering diplo points in annexations. No, 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 no. We want look again. It, in the end, it is a game, but it should not be a, a game. The way the difficulty level works in these games is that it is very hard to actually lose as a large nation. And being... Sometimes when you get to the later stage, stages of the game, losing is almost nigh impossible. And a lot of people say it gets boring at the later stages. So the idea at the moment is in, uh, with us is you should be able to lose. If you do things wrong, you should be able to lose. The The fear of losing should be there. You should not be able to do things with impunity. In the end, you, you are not a god figure, even though within the confines of the game world you are. Reboot reference, you know. But um, losing the game should definitely be possible, which is one of the reasons behind that. Um, how does anybody here know how to play as Byzantium? I'm sure there's a thread about that on the forums. Ottomans getting wrecked. Indeed they are. Make Mordor formable. We already have Gondor, so... And so we're currently about 20 minutes to go. And I, I agree with Little Tiger when it comes to... Uh, uh, when it comes to actually... Uh, when it comes to difficulty level of the game, uh, did, I, I'm the kind of gamer myself that likes to play exceptionally hard games. And I don't mean like Dark Souls. I'm talking about roguelikes, um, specifically uh, Dwarf Fortress or um, Submarine Commander, which I've been playing recently. It's very small. Uh, it's only like four megabytes. But you, um, I think you, I think the idea behind it is you, um, I'm not entirely sure if you, uh, you're a commander of an attack sub or just a nuke sub, but uh, basically it's the most simple game in the world, and for some reason my nuclear uh, reactors keep on over, you know, overheating, which is kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, go and, go and have a look at that. Small games are always, always cool. Spend like an hour on that. Anyway, the world seems to be, you know, I could say the world is burning, but everybody is pretty much raffle stomping the Ottomans at the moment. And uh, like... Um, Mr. Nibbles said just now, they can just walk over to his desk and hit accept on any sort of agreement that they uh, want to go for. And as you can see, Lithuania has taken over most of uh, the Balkans. Oh, there we go. Poland. What does Poland want? Uh, Poland wants out of the war. So Poland just uh, peaced out. And uh, this is all being sieged down as well. Let's take a look. Oh, my God. Sweden's at war with Bukura. I think that is a war that Bukhara probably started. Let's take a look here at the Swedes. Jonas. Uh, that is... Uh, no, it's actually the Swedish conquest. That is interesting, because Bukhara is normally being played by a player nation. And we have an in-house rule saying that if a player nation is not here for just a week, you're not allowed to invade them. And uh, Jonas is currently invading Bukhara. Which is within the rules of the game is considered to be highly uncool. Ming right now, Western Ming, super powerful Ming. As so we are approaching the end date of the game, we have about uh, 18 minutes remaining of game time here within uh, Paradox uh, Development Studios, and 
Uh, it's currently 1591. I wouldn't be surprised that we will hit the 1600s before the end of the game. That will mean that we have played about 160 years. That means that we're almost halfway there. No, I am not going to make any Bon Jovi references there. Uh, da -da -da -da, where is my Skype list? There we go. I just need to chat to the uh, rest of the team, see what they're actually up to. And there we go. All right, so Palladium is also in this war uh, with the uh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans are being completely ripped asunder. Oh my God, there's three different wars. Even the Austrians are in a separate war. It's a full-on war of aggression. For those people that don't know how full, basically you will lose a, uh, a single uh, stab just because you go to that war of uh, single... Um, Single aggression. Quickly, let me check here because I'm looking at the uh, multiplayer thread that we have. Okay. So, yeah, all this war right now that's currently going on is all about uh, piecing out the, uh, well, carving up the Ottoman Empire, or at least the former Ottoman Empire, and then we'll see Mr. Nibbles join in a new nation next time. Quickly back to the chat, let's see what you guys have been saying. Uh, uh, is that French Rodos? We will actually have to check that again. I'm sorry. Forest Gavelkin donation. Fix late game. Yeah, we would do so, but, you know, Gavelkind is a little bit, you know, medieval sort of thing. I don't think feudalism really translates well to the Renaissance. You know, despotic enlightenment and all that jazz. It's uh, it's not something that, uh, yeah. I like changes for normal games, but it's a bit sad that some of the achievements are almost completely impossible. We will look into that. Are the devs playing from the same room? Well, arguably the same room. They are playing from their studio, which is in one of the other wings of the building. Uh, there's two players. Uh, Buren is actually playing from his own desk, which is in the uh, publishing wing, which is in the other side of the building. So... Matt, try playing Banished. Have done so. Thank you very much. Uh, I was actually following that game for a very long time. It was pretty good. Uh, they are hot seating on the same computer, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Asia Minor is burning willingly. Yes. No mercy from Jonas. Sweden is evil again. It's not attacking Cyber, no, it is definitely Bukhara. Can the game be paused, accelerated, multiplayer matches? Absolutely, you can pause at any point you like. You just hit that space bar and the game is paused. See the little, see the thing in the uh, top right there, the little indicator? You can go faster and slower at a, a pick of a button. Normally, people like to go for speed 3, uh, mainly because that is the def. It's not a default speed, but it is the speed that um, most machines are comfortable with keeping up with. Is Western Ming really that strong now when they don't get Western units? Probably not, but they do lose the faction system, which means they get a plus 50% modifier on pretty much anything. Sweden's always evil. Yes, definitely. Socialism is definitely the devil. Uh, can we expect EU5 at any time? Wow. EU4 came out like a year ago. Um, no comments, but no, I doubt we will see EU5 anytime soon. Um, who are the players in the game? It's all the guys on the right side of the screen. Uh, you should include an option to tax a province more or less to affect revolt risk. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> if you had a federation, maybe, but national tax rates are kind of a thing. How much is the game with both DLC slash expansions? Um, I think it is depending on. It's pretty much on sale anywhere, really. It's uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty much doable. I'm not, not sure. I think I think Wealth of Nations is 9.99 in dollars and or your local equivalent. Uh, Conquest, I don't know. It changes. It originally went for 15.99, uh, 14.99 and or your local equivalent. Uh, the game itself, I have no idea. There is many many places that sell it so if you want to pick it up there's many places to do it why is rebels so large against small nations we're working on that right now 
Oh, yeah, no space bar use in MP. You have to click the button, yes, because sometimes people tend to do that. There's a lot of muscle memory involved. Sorry about that. You're completely right there, Celebrity. Uh, Cyril, that guy, yes. Have you ever thought of doing YouTube, Matt? Why would I want to do that? Can the Observer change the speed? Just jack it up to 5 and see if the player notices. No, although the Observer did originally have all the powers that all the gay players in the game had. I remember the very first build of the Observer where I could do anything, including delete enemy, uh, delete every single army in the world. It was so much good fun that I started doing it for a little bit and then the developers got really mad because I deleted their stacks. And Now I am literally a ghost. I am literally a god without being able to touch the world. I can only observe this little ant nest that is humanity. And my god, we got really philosophical there for a second. Uh, since when is space pause? It is not. My apologies. It's only in it's only in single player. CK three first, then EU five. Yes. Uh, France attacking Ottomans. Yes, they are. Europe Universalis. To call of Euro Universalis twenty two. Well, we would have to call it um, a call of Universalis twenty two, um, modern warfighter or something like that. Um, have you considered adding the Channel Island, Island of White, and Island of Man? They're kind of they're they're kind of too small for that, I'm afraid. Uh, the Isle of Man, you know, Isle of White. It's white, by the way, not white as in the color, but white with a G, and it's kind of at the bottom of you know Southampton. I think it's already in the game, but not as a separate province. Uh, why can't I close the Suez Canal on my enemies? We will get to you back to you on that. Do you watch other EU4 Twitch YouTube streamers? Yes, we definitely do. Can you show us Asia? We'll get to that very shortly. Uh, you guys fixing the rival system. Why must I rival my ally who's been with me since the start of the game? You don't have to rival them. You don't have to. There is no, there's no obligation. The only reason the rival system is there is to potentially help you. Anyway, let's take a look at Asia. The request was made, and therefore I shall give, because I am merely, merely the observer in a world of, in a world of, uh, in a machine of pigs. Excuse me a moment, I need to change the battery. Sorry about that. It looks like the Ottomans are going bankrupt, and it looks like the Austrians will have to cede Albania to the Austrian. Uh, the Ottomans will have to cede Albania to the Austrians. My apologies. Looks like that is going to happen. Shouldn't be too difficult. And all this war about uh, Asia Minor is expanding quite nicely. Other stuff is going on in the chat. Can you show Asia? Just did Southampton represent? Yes, absolutely. Where will we race at the No Island of Man? Well, the game does end in 1821, so that kind of means that the automobile is not really, you know, invented yet by Ferdinand. Wait, well, was it Ferdinand Porsche? No, Ferdinand Porsche is like World War II. Wasn't it uh, Benz that did that? The first diesel engine or the first benzene engine? I think so. Pretty sure it was a German. Although before that we had steam engines, or steam engine cars, but they weren't really effective because you had to like carry a ton of coal with you. Anyway, uh, you can choose not to rival. Mm -hmm. Does anybody really like you in that game? Well, I don't really have any influence on it, so. Sweden did munch chunks of Bavaria, Bukhara, yep. Are you going to change desired provinces at all? No idea. Alright, let's take a look at French Rhodos. I doubt it is French Rhodos. I'm pretty sure. Wouldn't be surprised if it's actually proper South. What? <laughs> okay, so let's take a look here. Is this French? It is most definitely French Rhodos. <laughs> uh, Alright, Savancourt has jumped into this war now as well with the um, with the Ottomans. No, the Ottomans are really getting the shit kicked out of them. Which is kind of, you know, expected. 